this is a, a meeting about uh, chronic pain. So I wanted to talk about what I know and what I've experienced with chronic pain patients. Uh, there's quite a different variety of diseases that this falls under, and there's so many different reasons why people have pain, and there's a lot of different causes. But um, one of the main things I've noticed is that it definitely seems to have increased. You know, when I was a child, I mean, I never really saw these pain management centers that you see now. I mean, you see a lot more of those now. So it's definitely something that has increased and, and, and become more of an issue. Either that or, I don't know, maybe there was morphine and that's what people did. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's definitely changed. And there's a lot more options out there now. Uh, you know, of course, there's a lot, not only from the medical standpoint, but there's just a lot of different treatment options and a lot of different things available uh, that haven't been in the past. Uh, but one of the main problems about pain, just in general, is because it hurts so much and it constantly reminds us that it's there, a lot of times we have a tendency to lose focus as to what the problem is and we kind of start shifting our focus to the pain. Uh, and the problem with that is the pain is a mechanism that the body uses to tell you that there's something wrong. There's some underlying problem that there's a reason why that's there. You know, and if you're driving down the road and the oil light comes on, the oil light isn't the problem, right? The problem is that it's leaking oil. Uh, it could be leaking oil, or it could be that maybe it's just burning oil. There's something going on, and it's not the oil light. So you wouldn't put, you know, tape over the oil light. It wouldn't be a solution. Long-term. It might make you feel better for a little while, but it's just not going to, it's not going to fix it long term, right? So, um, in, in that regard, uh, I found that alternative uh, ways of dealing with pain and looking at kind of what the underlying cause is, is a good method, if you can figure out what it is, okay? Um, and unfortunately, with an oil light, it's a little bit easier to analyze or, or quote, diagnose or whatever you want to call it, uh, because it's the oil, right? Whereas pain is just your body telling you, ah, you know, and you're, you're hurting, you know, so... In that regard, it's a little bit uh, harder of a problem to figure out. But in general, there's several different types of pain. Um, one, there's muscle pain, you know, uh, over-exercising, muscles cramping up. So there's there's one sort there. Another type of pain is nerve pain. Uh, and that can come from a variety of different uh, methods. It could be accidents that the person has. Um, and there's a lot of different sources for nerve pain, but nerve pain is, is definitely one of the more painful types of pain that there is. Another type of pain is joint pain, uh, covered under arthritis. There are several different kinds, um, but in general, that deals with inflammation or an immune response um, in the body. Another type of pain is circulatory pain. And blood flow is not going to a certain area in the body. That will certainly uh, cause a person to hurt. So in looking at pain, you know, it's important to figure out which type it is. You know, is it, you know, is it muscular? Is it nerve? Is it circulatory? Is it joint? And once we look at that, it becomes a little easier to break down because then we can see what's going on in the body. Now, chronic pain is defined as pain that lasts for longer than three months. So, uh, it, you know, a person could be just in pain very short term and it wouldn't be chronic pain, but if that pain then lasts for a long period of time, then you get chronic pain, okay? Now, one of the main things about pain in general is it usually deals with inflammation. Uh, the body, for some reason, some part of the body is, uh, actually, I'll read the definition of inflammation here. It's redness, swelling, pain, tenderness, heat, and disturbed function of an area of the body, especially as a reaction of tissues to injurious agents. So there's something, some cause, that has made the body uh, react in this way, okay? So, in fact, nearly all diseases uh, have the uh, thing out at the end. It's ITIS, you know, conjunctivitis, for instance, is inflammation of the eyelid. Uh, and so there's a lot of different diseases that have the ITIS. And that just, it generally means inflammation of whatever body part you're talking about. So um, it's very key in dealing with pain to figure out, you know, what 
is making the body have inflammation and why is there inflammation continuing in the body. And uh, in fact, I wanted to show you this board here. Uh, one of the things that can happen is uh, if you have organ dysfunction, you know, just in general, let's say a person has an accident and it affects their organ or uh, they have a nutritional deficiency, their diet doesn't give them a certain nutrient, um, or you know, just any organ dysfunction, what happens is that increases the nutritional deficiency because the body still doesn't have it, and then that can lead to chronic pain. Same thing is true if you have chronic pain for some reason, that can then make you not get the nutrients, and then you can have organ dysfunction. So they can kind of interrelate uh, into all right so I'm gonna bid you adieu uh, but I wanted you to leave feedback with any questions you might have uh, rate the video please uh, as well as subscribe to this channel uh, we're working hard on giving you a lot of really good information uh, and having you subscribed really helps uh, also I wanted to invite you to come to my website nutritionaustin.com I do different lectures and um, I'm not sure what my next one is, but my website will tell you. Mm -hmm.